Hi, and welcome to pythonsvc.net. I'm going to present to you a tool to manage shell parameter here. You have some uh, button here. You can stay on it to have a tooltip. The most common function is to import parameter from a definition file. So you can select group. Uh, if you want to import all parameters from the definition file, you just pick select and you'll get it. You can multi-edit parameter. Here you see that there is a checkbox that uh, notify you that uh, this parameter has been uh, modified and you have all the standard options for a shelf parameter. So you can change name, type, group, for example, uh, let's say that we're going to make it uh, HVAC airflow. Uh, the GUI is uh, generated by default. You can add the description. You can also multi-edit uh, checkbox. And when you are satisfied, you can save. The plus and minus button are just here to to fill, uh, to add parameter to the data grid and uh, remove it from the data grid. It do not save anything. It's just uh, a visual thing. So if I remove it from it, they are still there and they, are, they saved uh, the option I filled before. You can uh, also import from a CSV file. I uh, will add this template to the script folder. You have to fill name, it is mandatory. It is the only mandatory field. All the other fields are optional. You can specify a parameter type. If you don't specify it, uh, the UE will ask you to specify it uh, in the list of available uh, parameter type. For group, uh, same, you can fill it or leave it blank. If you don't fill it, it will be parivite MEP by default. For grid, same. It will generate a new grid if you don't fill it. Description can be empty or filled. And uh, modifiable and visible are um, true by default. It means that uh, it will be modifiable and visible. If you want to uh, make some uh, parameter that you want the user to see but not to touch it, you can make it not modifiable but visible. And if you want a parameter to be just here without being visible, uh, just for a, for example, for a script purpose, you can make it not visible and not uh, modifiable. You can, it can be zero, one, yes, no. Uh, I have several options to, to recognize uh, if it's true or false. Also, yeah, uh, I said it before, if you don't specify any type, it will ask you to select a valid one. If you make a typo like here, the real one is a, F, a small f and the typo here is the capital F. And you'll see that uh, it will ask you to, to pick a new one. So here we have a typo in uh, Adrac Airflow. So you can filter our oh, here's a good one. And with no type, let's make it a volume. Okay. And when you are done, you can save it. 
and now it is available from uh, your definition file. You also have an, a button to delete it from definition file, so you can uh, clean it. So if we import from definition file, now we have only three uh, parameter, like uh, we added by default. We can also duplicate parameter. It is very handy because uh, when you have to type HVAC airflow and create one by one parameter, it is really more easy to just have to update the name. The difference between safe parameter and safe parameter and load is uh, here. It's close the, the window and uh, this tool uh, will be usable in other tool so you can uh, actually uh, insert shell parameter in your family or in your project but we will see uh, in a later video you can also merge parameter between files uh, you can for example open another definition file from uh, your customer or uh, a company and then select the groups you are interested in then reopen your own file and save and this way you'll get all the parameter in your own uh, shared parameter file it tells you to to have a project parameter file also if you like okay Andre